So I'm like, winning your life. Hello, my lovelies. While you're watching this video, I am doing London Fashion Week, but I still wanted to film it um, because recently I started doing these kind of like designer collection videos. So um, I've only done one and it was my Louis Vuitton collection video. After that, you guys sent me requests and you put Balenciaga, Dior, Chanel, Gucci, Fendi, which is what I'm doing today. I decided to start doing these like at least one per month, so Fendi was next because you guys know it's one of my absolute favorite brands. I guess, you know, it sounds quite like a cliche, like, oh, it's one of my absolute favorite brands, but actually like, I only have five or six brands that I really love and those are the ones that I will be able to do the collection videos off because those are um, the brands that I actually have more off than, I don't know, if you ask me to do like an off-white collection, I'm only gonna have like one top, so I cannot do a collection of it or something like that. You know, if you ask me to do like Tom Ford fashion collection video, I'm not gonna be able to do that or even Burberry, but there are brands that I definitely feel like are more uh, my vibe and brands that I've been wearing a lot and loving a lot. So even though I'm not saying that I don't like Burberry or anything like that, because I do have a few pieces from them, um, it's still not a brand from who I have so, 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 so much, from which I have so, 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 so much. Without blabbing, because I seem to be really good at it, I wanted to start straight into it. Now, one thing that you have seen probably so much on this channel recently that you might even be sick of is my Fendi Peekaboo, I think it's called like X Lite. This is the new Peekaboo bag. Now, it has the monogram at the back and it's like a little bit slight, slouchier, a little bit lighter. When I bought this bag, I was like, you know what, I'm really gonna wear this bag because I have so many monogram things, maybe a little bit too many monogram things, and in this video you will be witnessing that, a lot of monogram. But I thought that this really goes well because it's quite subtle, it can almost be like a perfect work bag, it's so packed with everything, like mainly receipts. For some reason I seem to be hoarding a lot of receipts. So yeah, I have a lot of things in here, but I really love this bag because it's just perfect. If it's so, so much stuff and it's like a perfect size, I really love it. I purchased it on the website myself, like with my own money so that there's no confusion. I do work with Fendi. I have actually worked with the brand since 2015, I believe. And I absolutely love the brand. I feel like actually my mother has worn the brand since forever. Like I recently actually found a picture when we were tidying together of her with like this like monogram, um, like top or scarf, I don't know what she was wearing, but like she kind of looked like me. Love this bag so much. It's absolutely um, amazing and I've worn it so much during Vlogmas. So I think at the moment of all of my Fendi things, well, I'll do top three. This is in top three items that I own. I'm gonna show you the other two as we go. Fendi sunglasses. I think Fendi, Dior, Celine, so LVMH group and Louis Vuitton are most of my sunglasses. I have a lot of Fendi sunglasses and honestly, I'm not gonna stop there. I think they make the trendiest, coolest sunglasses and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. I wear these a lot, you guys have seen. I'm gonna like just quickly talk about them because otherwise this video is gonna go on forever, right? So we got these, I think these are called Metropolis or something like that. Then we have the Can I. I know like a lot of my friends and boyfriends love these. Not that I have many boyfriends, just like, you know what I mean. Then we have these Can I bigger ones. These are a bit like, mm, not so fashion, more like kind of big Saint Tropez trip. Then we have these. These I haven't actually worn that much, but look how cool would they go with this knit. I love these kind of ombre glasses. Now, if you ask me what's the one thing that I'm super passionate about, and no matter how many I have, I could still have more, those would be sunglasses. I, I, I have more than 200 pairs, and I could have more. They're very old. I don't think they make them anymore, but I am obsessed. I wore them um, on one of my flights to Dubai and it was at the time, long ago, not anymore, but that time was like one of my favorite pictures and one of my most favorite pictures. Now, my sister loves these and often steals them, so, you know, it's not like she steals them. I would literally give my sister my left kidney or my right kidney or both of them if she would want them so she can have everything that I have, honestly mean it, and she knows that, so it's not like she steals them, it's just that she's so uninterested in actually probably stealing anything from me and then these I love so so much these are from the shoot that I did for Fendi 
uh, last summer I did a photo shoot for the brand and uh, actually we were shooting for their Instagram so these are the sunglasses that they have gifted me after the photo shoot they were like choose whichever you like and I was like yes because they came in like different colors as well and I picked this color when it comes to earrings I have one pair of Fendi earrings and I think I might buy another pair because um, there is the new collection that I really like. These are quite old now. I think I asked Fendi if I could borrow these from their showroom last February Fashion Week. I love them so much. Look how cool now with my darker, <laughs> recently dark hair. So I asked if I can borrow them and then I did and they were like, Tamara, these look so good on you, these look so good on you. So when I came to return them, um, I was like, oh, I love them so much. Like, can I keep them a bit longer? And they were like, just keep them. So they gifted these to me and I love them for that. I love the logo. I think they're so, so, so cool. Now, I'm going to talk to you about ready to wear. This coat is one of the top three items, if you ask me. I really should get a bit better hangers for these, like, cashmere coaty things. So here we go. Wore it about a billion times. I have many pictures which I will insert here. This coat is so perfect as an overcoat. So I wear it over a leather jacket, over a grey knit, turtleneck, like, and it's so perfect because normally coats are so bulky, but this isn't. So it just folds. I bought this on my Theresa a while ago and love it. Fendi bags, they are beautiful. We love them. This can I bag in autumnal shades. Someone actually asked me on Instagram, you wore this bag uh, three times in a week. What happened? Did you have to sell all of your bags and only wear this one? I mean, that didn't happen. But I really wouldn't think there's a problem with just having one bag or just wearing one bag because you love it. Because I genuinely love this bag so much. It has gold and silver hardware, which you will notice with a lot of Fendi things, so they do not actually make you choose between your hardware. Um, there is kind of like caramel, red and black tone, which I think is beautiful, the kind of like Fendi logo. And it comes with the most basic, most boring strap ever, which is this. But I have a solution for that. Fendi started making the straps first, and this strap here is what I wear with it. Again, kind of similar story to the earrings. I think it goes so well with this bag. What do you guys think? We love it. I think those are all the things that were gifted to me from Fendi. I mean like the bag and the sunglasses and the earrings. Oh, I actually know this as well. This was the part of the Fendi collection. Um, I bought this little hand strap because I think it goes so well with the triplet bag But it was the part of the BC collaboration that I did with Fendi So they uh, they got me to go to Harrods and choose what I want it to look like So I customized it with python, pink and mint green and I love what it's like I just think it's so cool and then we have pink, burgundy and mint green like this kind of like hand strap so freaking cool right okay the next bag that i want to speak to you about is this can i uh beautiful pink crystallized bag i love this bag so so much actually especially sort of like autumn winter when i can wear it with all whites grays pink i love wearing it with a gray coat that i showed you and i think i have several pictures with it as well it's just so beautiful this kind of pink dusty pink is just so beautiful and i i don't know i'm obsessed with this bag i love it I have two more bag straps. Now, this one I had to buy because I thought it goes perfect with my first ever Can I bag, which is this gray one. And look how well it goes. I wore this as well so, so, so many times. This bag is like one of my go-to bags. Let's see what it has inside. A lot of things in here because I wear it a lot, you know? I love it. It can also um, be styled with this hand strap so instead of this strap if you put you could put the hand strap but also it can go with either of these the blue and the colorful this one i don't really wear that much i don't know why so the boots of the life of me are these monogram boots i love these boots um they are true to size mine are in size 39 and i normally go for 39 40 so if that's a little guide so you know absolutely obsessed like they should come with me to fashion week because they go so well with this look at this this is the combination i was talking to you about i just needed this combination and i actually worn this combination so many times which i will prove by inserting a picture as i always do one of the oldest ready to wear pieces that i have is something over here now this knit you have seen in my previous videos i love it so much it says fendi 
MCMXX. MCM is 1900 because this is 1000 and this is 1000 and C before M means minus 100. So it's like 1900, 10 and 10 is 20 and 5. So 1925, which is a year that you're Fendi. So yeah, now you learned something as well, like Roman numerology. I don't know what is the schooling system where you live. Let me know about that in the comments below. But in Serbia, we do Roman numbers at like age 8 and you have tests in it and you have to know it. And I literally do not know a single person that does not know Roman numbers. Like it's a must, you just have to know it. Wow, I have so much more monogram to show you. One of other top three items, so it's the peekaboo, the grey coat and this jacket. So expensive it was. I remember being like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not, should I, should I not. Honestly, one of the best decisions ever. I love this jacket. It's warm enough, but it's not too hot. It's light enough, but still like, I don't know, it's just perfect. I love the monogram. I don't think it's too much in your face. It doesn't scream like, new money. Like, it's not like that. It's just really, really, oh, I love it. I wear it so much and I'm obsessed with this cold jacket. And honestly, I feel that I would buy it again. Like, no, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I would, but I wouldn't like to rebuy it because I already spent that money once, so that's enough. These are a bit dusty. I haven't worn them for a while. However, I love them. Like, Fendi dresses me a lot for the events. I worn a whole Fendi look to Glamour Awards once, like, you know, I, I needed an extra outfit, but I didn't want to really spend a crazy amount of money, so it's really nice having this relationship with them. So, they uh, also gave me these shoes, which I then, once I returned them, decided to purchase because they're so comfortable, yet so sexy, elegant, I love them, I love what they look like on my leg, um, beautiful, I love pointy shoes, they have the Fendi flower on the side, so really, really love them. I wore them last New Year's Eve and they were kind of lucky for me, so... Another pair of shoes that I got, I actually got these on sale, but they're back in like current season again, and now they're full price, so I'm like... Winning at life. I told you guys to get them on sale, you know? If you listen to me, you're now winning. I never really buy stuff that just go out of fashion. So there are those like kind of Fendi sock boots with awkward heel. Probably a little bit man repellerish. so... I mean, don't expect to be the most sexy girl wearing these, but you definitely will be the most fashionable girl, so... Or a boy, because you can wear heels even if you're a girl or a boy. I for sure would not judge. I have the trousers and I worn these a lot throughout December and January. They look a little bit big on me even though they're quite a small size. They're Italian 38 so they are 36, 34. But I think because the material is not like a jeansy material but like a trouser material they're just a little bit big on me but I'll insert a picture and I actually like that look. I think if they would be too 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 tight they would look a little bit tacky and you know like a monogram tight jeans like you but this way they look very fashion very cool you can wear them with like an ugly um, sneaker trend or something like that and that way they would really get that kind of like fashion feel okie dokie guys these look very floral on video I think I love them they were such a huge hit in uh, March 2017, I received them as a gift from Fendi. They asked me to choose the color and I, I picked this color. And they arrived before they were even like in the shops and stuff like that. And I was one of the first people to have them. It was huge because um, all the kind of international uh, influencers were posting them. It was just a gift. I was not asked to post them or anything like that. It was my birthday as well. so. Um, and I wore them quite a lot that spring because they're actually very comfortable, kind of like a sock boot, to the point where I also influenced Christina a little bit. She loved them, so when I did my Cosmopolitan shoot that she worked for, she asked me to bring these boots. She compiled a little list of things at the time. She said to bring these boots and we shot them for Cosmo as well. Two more things! We have a Fendi skirt that I bought in the phase of losing weight which is why I, you've never seen me wear it, because now it's too big on me. So I actually need to make it smaller, like a lot smaller, but I don't know if it's going to be possible, so I will need some kind of help. Um, if anyone knows any tailoring, 
how to make a monogram skirt smaller let me know I guess you know there's a seam here so I guess it's gonna be possible but then there are pockets at the back so I guess they're gonna have to take it in from both sides problems you know last thing from Fendi before I boil the light gets me really hot oh and now I wish I had like four favorite things this dress over here I mean seriously how much monogram is there right but this dress though I love so much so last February I went to a this gala event with Fendi and Hailey Baldwin uh, wore this I will insert the picture um, Hailey wore this dress and I was like wow she looks amazing but hers was see-through so it didn't have like a underdress kind of thing like a slip underneath but this one does and I love this one so much because how I wear this I wear it with like knife boots actually I'll insert a picture really cool style and it's one of my favorite things I own in my wardrobe I wear this so much that at one point my friends were like why don't you wear the dress that you always wear like seriously what do you mean a dress that I always wear I wore it twice like with this particular person so, I mean, I know it's all over, but like, come on. They're like, no, no, I really like it. You wear it so often. I was kind of offended, so I haven't actually worn it since then that much. But anyway, um, that's not the point. I love it, and I'm going to wear it more no matter what people say, because, you know, pay for it. It should be good investment and good cost per wear. Who agrees? Comment below. <laughs> I actually work a lot with Fendi, and they're so kind to me that they dress me whenever I need like whenever I had an event they're like do you want to borrow something like you know come in and choose what you want to wear which is great because it means like if I have like a photo shoot or an event or a wedding to go to um, they're so kind that they actually um, would dress me and let me pick something so that I don't have to go and buy like rush buy a ridiculously expensive um, outfit and also you know why is that good because then I can try items and see if they actually would work with my wardrobe and I can like wear it for two three weeks and say if I recommend it or not and actually you know what like obviously Fendi is one of my favorite brands so I have always recommend it because it's so well made as well but it happened to me before that I do buy something and I return it or I borrow something from another brand and I return it because I'm like this is horrible I'm so happy I didn't buy it okay guys so I would think that I would have more things from Fendi than I do even Christina was like don't you have more things from Fendi I would have thought you have more things but I don't because um, I don't know like I kind of recycle my stuff as well I don't keep everything 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 I give a lot to my friends family and I sell a lot on my Depop um, from the things that you know like I bought ages ago and I don't wear anymore so make sure to check it out over there that's it Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what other brands would you like me to see the collections from. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys!